Hey guys, it's Sprout here, and welcome back to another Bad Learners Top 10 Tip video. Now, before I get into this video, I just want to quickly mention that subscriptions are now open on the channel, which means you can directly support me by clicking the little join button that's next to the subscribe button, and you pay a weekly, uh, sorry, a monthly subscription, which directly helps me improve my content anyway. That option is there if anyone is interested. Now anyway, this video is top 10 things to remember before you go into battle and of course at the start of the battle. Now some of these might seem completely obvious to you, but might not to somebody else. So just bear with us here and I'll get right into it. Right guys, number one on the list is make sure you've got enough ammo when going into battle. Now. You have to take in consideration what you're going into. If you're going into new Kamas solos, you're probably not going to need that much ammo because you can usually find what you need, you know what I mean? You're going to be using level 1 ammo, but if, if like me, for this video, I'm going into the agent solos, I want to make sure I've got enough to hold me on before I find some more. So I make sure my AKM is, of course, filled to the brim, and I take about two full stacks extra. My sniper, I don't use as much. Actually, I'll have to make sure that's full, but I take a couple of extra shots depending on how much uh, I've got in my inventory. I don't really want to buy it. But I might find some while I'm running around, you know what I mean? I don't need that much because the chances of me using 12 bullets in one match is very slim right now. So that's the ammo. Next on the list, guys, number two is make sure you've got enough meds. Now, by this, I mean, obviously, you've got regeneration, first aid, bandages there. These are the three that I always take in. Some people take uh, overloads, uh, cardiacs, stuff like that. I don't bother with them too because, quite honest, I don't really go into battles to kill people very often, but obviously if I have to, I have to. But I find a nice um, even stash of regenerations, first aids and bandages do quite help. Bandages are not really that necessary. They're just a, a quick heal if you've only got a split second because obviously a first aid does take about five seconds to use which is obviously a lot of time to sit still or walk really slowly. But what I tend to do is I'll pop a regeneration first and then while that's regenerating, I start using the first aid and it's more or less to full health by the time you've done that. Bandages I'll just use in and out of combat sort of thing. Right, this next one, guys, number three, is check the condition of your armour. Now, let's just say you've just been in a match, you come out, you've been shot a couple of times, you go on to the next one, and you just, you, you forgot to check the condition of your armour. Granted, mine right now are on 100% durability, but just remember to click repair if you need to repair your armour, and just make sure that, obviously, everything's in order, you've got the right stuff on. There's nothing worse than going into a, a match and your armour's already broken, and you just haven't noticed. Just make sure you check your armour before you do it. Go ahead and jump in a match. Also make sure that the armour you've got on is quite alright for the mode you're going in. I mean, I know that these, for what I'm about to do, should be alright. Right guys, number four, don't always just go for the default. Make sure you do select the right mode and server from what you want to do. Now, for this video, the end of these ten tips, I'm going to go into Southeast Asia solo because obviously North America solo takes forever to queue and I haven't got all day to sit and wait for it, you know what I mean, I'd rather just get in the match as soon as possible, just make sure you, you double check what you've got it on, if you're going on solo V squads, make sure the chick's off, if you want to queue a randoms, make sure it's on, you know what I mean, all that sort of stuff before you jump into the battle, and save you time later. In at number five guys, is select the correct weapons for the mode, now I will have a tendency to take a snipe rifle, regardless of what I'm doing, but it's entitled to everyone. Some people like to take pistols with them, like uh, that pistol there I just took off someone in a, a agent call this morning. Um, or it might be a newcomer call, I can't remember, anyway. But make sure you've got the weapons appropriate to what you're doing. Obviously that falls with the ammo as well, the level of your ammo. Make sure you've got what you need on your, like, 8 times scope, 2 times scope, etc, etc. Make sure you've got everything you need weapon-wise before you go in it. Newcomer, I would tend to only take one gun. Agent, maybe it's two guns. Um... Expert, definitely two guns. Just make sure you've got what you need to get the job done. Anticipate the opponents you're going to face in the mode you're going into. Right, guys, in at number six, it's not going to apply to this video, but it might apply to your gameplay as such. Now, say you're going to go on trio mode, make sure you pick people 
right, from your friends. This, granted, my friends is quite long. I don't play with all these people quite often anyway. But make sure you you, you choose teammates who you know, not, not so much know, but you know their player style, you know how they play, you know they're going to rush, you know they're going to loot, you know they're going to camp somewhere, you know. Pick someone you know you're good to play with. It's pointless being with someone who you haven't got a clue about because if they rush, but they're going to pull back and you rush and then you die you're going to think, well, why didn't you help us? But it might be just their play style not to push in. So make sure you've got some sort of idea of who you're playing with. Unless, of course, it's a random squad, then you've got no choice on the matter. But if it's a, if it's a prefab squad where you've picked together, make sure you know what your teammate plans to do in the match. Right, guys, in at number seven is make sure your mic works. Now, not everyone uses mics. I don't use mics personally because if I'm recording a live stream, I can't actually use my mic. But if you do use a mic, make sure it works. Sometimes the game one's a bit temperamental. So I would recommend if you do want to use voice chat, go on a Discord server, use the voice chat on the Discord server. Make sure you're both in it. Make sure you can actually hear the person, get all your volumes right and stuff like that. Obviously, some people have got different... Uh, like my phone, it's got a different vote different volume for the game sound and the mic volume so just make sure you've got a band so that you can actually hear people and they can actually hear you and you're not just broadcasting your footsteps which happens to me quite a lot in random games right guys now that i'm in the match i want to quickly just do eight and nine which is in your battle check the spawn points versus your own spawn point now if you're very familiar with them you'll know that this spawn point i've just spawned in there's another one over here so I just want to make sure that this guy doesn't quickly come ambushes, and also check where your escape points are. I know I need to go to the other side of the map for all of these ones. So I'm going to li wait, literally head that way already, because I don't want to get caught. There's someone in there. Two moments. Oh, I just got him there. Just got him, just got him, just got him. Right. Use me rejuvenation. Oh, 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 oh. Right, one more tip that I forgot to do, obviously, uh, guys. If you suffer from scope lag, which I mean, when you open your scope, it goes really, really slow. What you can do is open it repeatedly before the game starts. It wasn't tier 5, my mistake, it's tier whatever that was. Right, I'm just going to nick that. Here came in all the bullets, and the first aid might as well. And I'll take his rejuvenation as well. Is that an armour repair? I'll have that as well. <laughs> take all these stuff. I'll have all your stuff. Anyway, guys, I'm just going to go ahead and finish the rest of this game on the video. So, I hope you enjoy it. I'm going to try and not die. I'm on solo um, Southeast Asia agent call. Well, that helped a little bit, I suppose. Let's have a look at this ear key I just got off him. Not bad. It's a little bit about the same as mine, actually. Same as mine. Anyway... Keep hitting me escape points. So I knew that was a spawn point over this way. And I can, if required, do a separate video on just the spawn points. Pardon me. But I'm not going to go for admits containment, obviously, because I need cash for that. So I'd have to find the cash in the first place. The point is going there and thinking, well, I'll wait for the cash to come, because it doesn't always work like that. But sometimes at the start of the match, guys, for tip number 10, I do do this over and over just to make sure that my scopes don't lag when it comes to combat. There's no worse than you get the little lag right as you open your scope and then you get killed. It's just it's ridiculous, isn't it? There's definitely been someone over there because the doors are open. I don't know why he's opened all four doors to be other. People don't usually do that. At least I don't anyway. I think he probably went in there. But I'm not going to look for the kills. I'd rather get loot, if I'm honest. So I'm going to go back to headquarters north. I'm just paranoid that there's people up there, because there usually is, like, in the top window. Do I see someone, actually? There's usually campers in these windows up here. Because you can crouch next to them and nobody can see you until you stand up and start shooting. I always go at the wrong side of these buildings. There should be a ramp on both sides.
So guys, while you're watching this, if there's any tip specific videos you'd like us to do, any top 10 videos, just please let us know in the comments. I am now accepting um, subscriptions to the channel. What that will give you is a badge on me, me live streams. You get a little badge next to your name. And if you're on me Discord, I can give you a special little rule and a private chat on my Discord server. Which doesn't seem like much, I suppose, but and you'll also be helping us to improve the content. And potentially in the future offer more things than just Discord rules. why I pick them up because I never use the stuff that's in them. Right, so there's obviously this escape point but that needs cash. But I might as well have a look to see if anyone's waiting around it. You never know. Someone's been here, that's for sure. Yeah, I'll get rid of that for that. Right guys, I had to skip some of the video here, but I didn't really say anywhere anyway. But uh, I'm going to continue now. There's a guy upstairs in the ice. His was a stun grenade. I'm not 100% sure if he's upstairs or in this build. This, I think he's upstairs. He's throwing stun grenades at us. It's next to the escape point. Oh crap, there he is. Don't use that. I'm not doing that. Here he comes. Definitely upstairs, is he? How did he shoot at us if he's not a... Oh! Well, there she is, relative. There's no one. Where is that? Well, there was no one there. You take all your ammo and stuff. Your cash, your SMG5 is now mine. I love that. Yep. I'll have your... That, uh, that's all I want really. Look at all the kits they've got. That must be annoying. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please do hit that like button and do make sure you subscribe to the channel. And I will be doing a lot more videos as the days come on. And of course, join us on live. Oh, I'm going to shut it. Escape. Just escaped. <laughs> Try to snipe us. Anyway, oh, look at all that stuff. That's a nice SMG5. Anyway, guys, I'm going to go now. So thanks for watching. And do remember, you can get a little supporter badge on my stream if you really want to on the times I do go live. And I'll see you then. Bye-bye.